Hi guys, today we'll be looking at the first chapter from your accountancy. It's called as accounting for not-for-profit organization. Uh, it's also it can be referred as NPOs. So in this video, you'll be learning the meaning and concept of not-for-profit organization. Then you'll be learning how to prepare the receipts and payment account for a not-for-profit organization followed by the income and ex expenditure account of a not-for-profit organization and finally you'll be preparing the balance sheet for NPOs. How many of you have seen television ads where they say a particular child of three months old or six months old is suffering from a particular disease or who is malnourished and how your donation or how your sponsorship can help save the life of a particular child or provide education for a particular child or help save a girl child. These are organizations that run on the motive of welfare. They don't run to earn profit but rather to provide service to specific group or to a particular group of people or to a particular community or particular caste or people affected with a particular problem. These types of organizations are called as not-for-profit organization. One such organization is World Vision. It is an international organization. It also has its organization set up in India. It covers a large range of people. It works globally. They work with different type of people suffering with different types of problem. Uh, in particularly, they deal with uh, children and they strive to provide education for all children, to provide better health facilities, education facilities, and to provide a safe environment for these children. So the some activities or services which are provided by World Vision are given here. They try to provide clean water to villages where the clean drinking water is not available. They also work with uh, refugees. They provide a disaster relief. They also work with uh, specially abled people. They also provide health facilities in uh, remote places of India. They provide education and child protection services. Here you can see some of the services which are provided by World Vision. Here you can see how they have worked with um, refugees, uh, provided disaster relief fund and uh, they have um, educated almost 3.5 million kids. They have given 1.4 million job opportunities. They have served 313 communities and uh, they have given 3.3 million people access to clean drinking water. If you look at the website of World Vision Organization, you can actually see all of their financial statement from uh, the year 2019. They have their past financial records also for everyone to view one important thing of the one important feature of not-for-profit organization is that they try to establish clean transparency and accountability uh, to the people who provide sponsorship or donation to them so all not-for-profit organization tend to keep a clean financial statement and transparency and accountability to their members and also in the website you can see where um, a section where you can go and donate you can donate either $50 to $500 or more and these type of donation that you make to a not-for-profit organization are called a subscription and they've also given a um, a statement how efficiently they make use of each dollar that you give to them. Now let's look at the meaning and concept of not-for-profit organization. Like I said, these organizations run with the motive of welfare. They engage in social activities to enhance welfare. They are set up with a general or specific objective for providing services for a particular group of people or to the public at large uh, they do not 
earn profit they do not strive to earn profit but however these organization are capable of earning profit it is a separate legal entity it is not owned by a particular person or a particular enterprise it is managed or governed by managing trustees or by a managing committee some examples of such organization are schools and colleges most of the schools and colleges are run by a charitable trust a uh, public hospital like the uh, hospital in vellore cmc it is a service oriented organization where most of the services offered are at a subsidial price there are many literacy societies for promoting sports art and culture so these types of organization do not run with the motive of making profit but rather providing services to the people some examples of such organization are given here a uh, smile is one such organization it works with underprivileged children families and communities help page india is another organization it works with the elderly people or the senior citizen uh, they work against the abuse of elderly people they try to provide better health facilities for elderly people cry is another organization child rights and you they focus their attention on children Uh, they try to provide um, education uh, health facility um, they work against child labor child marriage um, and many more such activities teach for india is where the youngsters come together to provide uh, education in remote parts of india make a wish is one another organization one of my favorite foundation they try to um fulfill the wishes of children who are under the age of 2 and 1/2 years old um they try to fulfill the wishes the last wishes of children who are suffering with uh, terminal illness okay um i'm sure you all would have come across the agaram foundation founded by actor surya so they try to provide um education facility they provide sponsorship and scholarship for children so now i think i hope that you would have got a clear picture of what is a not for profit organization and what type of activities or services they provide so now let's look at the features or characteristics of a not for profit organization now let's look at the characteristics or features of not for profit organization like i said these organization run with the motive of providing welfare to people to provide services to a specific group of people or to address a specific problem or to serve the public at large they provide services like education facilities healthcare services uh recreation sports arts culture and these services are provided either at free of cost or at a very nominal or minimal cost the main source of income for these organization are in form of subscription from their members it could be either monthly or annually or donations from their sponsors or government aids or government grants or some income in form of investment that they have made these organization are a separate legal entity it is not owned by any individual or enterprise but it is managed by a group of trustees uh, or a managing committee its main aim is welfare like i said it is not to earn profit it is set up as a charitable society or a charitable trust the accounting information are provided for their present and potential contributors so there is actually clean transparency of their accounts it is maintained so that everyone who has made a donation or a subscription to this organization have a clean transparency of account so that they are very much aware that their money is being put to the best use and it is used optimally to serve the affected communities